Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat uh, healthy, drink good beer, get rich. Uh, just a quick update on Galaxy stock, ticker symbol GXY. So, so the stock has done, uh, is up about 3.64% uh, uh, from yesterday and uh, I have some uh, exciting news to share. So some of you have already watched the interview with a uh, London investor of Megan. And also there is another interview uh, which which is uh, which I, I just want to summarize for for you all. So so the market for ad tech sector is 17 billion, okay? And then the year on year growth on on this is about 17 to 18 percent. And there are not many competitors to Galaxy. So it's a niche niche area they have already entered into. The second thing uh, second takeaway is that they manufacture their products in South Korea. Now, given the uh, tensions that are ongoing between uh, China and America, I think they will be solved. However, uh, just just on, on those uh, terms, the manufacturing in South Korea is actually quite uh, advantageous in, in terms of taxes, in terms of uh, uh, political uh, environment in, in the U.S. They also have a deal pipeline of 10 million uh, already. The, the biggest uh, uh, st strength of, of the company is their supports and services. Remember, if you're having issues in, in, in pressing buttons and uh, issues in installation, they have a really amazing uh, support and services team. Then, again, if you heard the interview carefully, if I hear the bells correctly, they are already expanding into Australia and Canada and likelihood to come to UK, which is really, really, really good. Uh, they have also inquired a company, CTS, which is a uh, distribution, sales and distribution company. Again, they're going to leverage that to sell even further. Another takeaway is, is that they want to grow the company organically. So this, again, might be not, not uh, really good for some investors who are aggressive, but for people like me who love to see this company grow and, and who love to grow with the company, I think those statements are, are really good. It seems as if they will uh, take care of the investors. The other thing I, I want to uh, show you here is if you look at this tweet, uh, which happened about 12 hours ago, uh, initially planned for release tomorrow, but the need for immediate communication in building is on all of our minds tonight. So obviously, uh, this is you all of you know what happened at uh, Capitol uh, Hill yesterday with with uh, the some of the supporters of Republican Party storming the uh, the, the seat of democracy. And then I think uh, the, the management is pretty quick to uh, use that opportunity to to promote their products. And it's a new product, and and uh, it's it's I think uh, uh, it's it's very very timely. Now, another thing I would love to uh, show you here is, is uh, there was this uh, uh, talk about uh, stock dilution. Megan did not say yes or no. Okay, So she said she wants to grow the company organically. This could happen or could not happen. However, some people were spreading rumors uh, regarding one of the uh, K8 firms. I just want to say, first of all, to get half a million pounds from an institutional investor, it is just brilliant, okay? And if you'd look at the terms and conditions, it says the company will control the timing and amount of any shares or sales to the investor, and the investor is obligated to make purchase in accordance with the agreements. So uh, uh, this is a reason to be excited, not to be uh, worried about. Uh, there is another thing I, I really, let's see if I can pick. Uh, there is no upper limits to the price per share. And the investor may pay to purchase common stock and the purchase price of the shares will be based on then prevailing pri uh, prices of the company shares at the time of each sale. I think this is a very good news. I don't know why some people is taking it as a negative uh, news. So I think uh, overall it's, it's looking pretty bullish to me. It's looking pretty good. Um, I would say that, uh, uh, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence. Uh, these uh, penny stocks are really risky. They are at the mercy of market manipulators. But I am getting really, really excited. Uh, excited to a point where even at the highs, a day before yesterday, or I think it was probably Monday, uh, I, I bought 10,000 shares. Uh, yesterday, I added another 10,000. So I'm actually having a substantial uh, a position in this stock. But it's your decision, your choice. My job is to keep you guys updated.